दिस इज अ दोसे दैट यू डोंट टेयर इन टू दिस इज अ दोसे दैट यू क्रश इन टू बिकॉज अ दोसे इज क्रम्बलिंग विद ऑल दैट बेंडे दैट इज बीन रोस्टेड विद This is like Ali Baba when he opens that cave. It's all the idlis in here. Fantastic. Oh my goodness. This is an idli that's crumbling that's tearing away under its own weight. It's as soft as that. ಕೆಲವರು ಒಳಗಡೆ ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗೋಕ್ಕೆ ಅನುಮಾನ ಪಡ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ಗಲೀಜು ಇತ್ತತೆ ಮಾಡ್ತತೆ ಇವನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ನೋಡ್ತಾರಲ್ಲಪ್ಪ ಅಂತ ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗೋದಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ಯಾರನ್ನ ಹೋಟ್ಲು ನೋಡಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಯಾವ ಫುಲ್ಲು ತೋರಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ಭಾಳ ಸಮಾಧಾನ ಆಗ್ತತೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಕಿಚನ್ ವುಡ್ ರೈವಲ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನಲ್ ಕಿಚನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ Hi folks this is Kripal Mana Gourmet on the road and you're watching Food Lovers TV I hope you're doing well I hope you're staying safe and strong So today we are on NH48 we're about 60 kilometers outside Bengaluru and this is the highway that leads on to Davangere Hubli Dharwad Belgaum before it enters Maharashtra it's about 8:30 in the morning and we've been on the road for the last hour and a half and it's that time when you feel you need some sustenance for the journey ahead So I've heard of this eatery on this stretch that is popular for its tatte idli. It's in a place called Khyata Sandra and I think we're only about 10 kilometers from this place and this eatery has been very popular with travelers for decades now. And you all know I love my tatte idli. So I said since we are on this stretch why not check this out. So stick around until the end of this episode to know more about the Pavitra होटेल थट्टे इडली इडली इज गुड सो दैट्स इट इज टू हैव क्लासिक क्लासिक वेरी सॉफ्ट बड़े गुड टू एंड मसाला डोसा एंड मसाला डोसे वेल हियर वी आर एट पवित्र इडली होटेल वी ऑलरेडी मेट सम व्यूअर्स हु से दैट द इडली हियर इज द थिंग टू हैव नमस्कार सर वेलकम थैंक यू वेरी मच निमय सर उदय कुमार मिस्टर उदय कुमार एंड दैट्स योर सन चरण माय सन आ ब्रदर सन आ ओके वेल देयर्स थट्टे इडली इज ऑन एवरी टेबल ऑन एवरी प्लेट एवरीबॉडी इज ईटिंग द थट्टे इडली आउट हियर हां एल्ला प्लेट नली थट्टे इडली यस 100 मेंबर्स के 70 मेंबर्स से इडली वडे 70 मेंबर्स इडली वडे हां वेलर एवरीथिंग इज इडली वडे एवरीथिंग इज इडली वडे फैंटास्टिक ದೊಡ್ಡ ಕಿಚನ್ ಇದೆ ನಿಮ್ದು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅಲಿ ಬಾಬಾ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಓಪನ್ ದಟ್ ಕೇಪ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಇಡ್ಲಿ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಂಟಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಸೊ ಇಡ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟೀಮ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಎ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಓನರ್ ಈ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಓನರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಓನರ್ ಗ್ರಾಹಕರು ಹಾ ಎರಡನೇ ಓನರ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಹುಡುಗರು ಹಾ ಮೂರನೇ ಓನರ್ ನಾನು ದಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಉದಯ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ has said he said i am the third owner of pavitra idli hotel the first owner are the customers the second owners are the people that work with me yes. and then last but not the least it's me see the eshtu varsha inde ide sir 1986 open 1986 open madidira yes, 36 yes. years oh. so yake eshtu popular ide ante idi namdu hotel uralli baala hale 1990 ಉಬ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆಸ್ತೀರ ಅಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ವಾಷಿಂಗ್ ವಾಷಿಂಗ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಟ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಟ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಬೆರಿ ಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಹಾಟ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ವಾಷ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯಾಂಟಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಸೆಟಪ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ದು ಹೊರಗಿಂದ ಒಳಗೆ ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ಭಾಗ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಬೇಕು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಆ ಯು ನೋ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅನ್
You need the back areas to be larger, much more organized. Only coffee. Only coffee here. Only coffee tea. Ah. Only dosa. Only dosa. Ah. So he's got a dosa happening here. ऊरली Oh my god this is like a factory of sorts sir to udini to vadage vadage udini to di urad dal chutni chutni ha ee chutni alli yen ide kottamari sappu ha menchi kai mushennu gulzeyannu mushennu coconut putane urgadle urgadle naavu ella water kulalli ee menchi kai tottu open madodilla idanna ya hange direct aagibidtare ha avu ee tara open maadi clean maadi aagtivi उडले गौरी तो एस्ट टाइम सोच मारते रहने हो। ये बात तो अकी ने ना कर दो। नाड़े रुपा दो। नाड़ तो इडली कर दो। थ्री डेज। आह। So he says, if you soak the rice today, they grind it tomorrow, and then they leave it to ferment. And on the third day, from the day that they soak the rice, is when the idli is served. राइस मत उद्दीन बेले भाग इत फार्टी उद्दीन बेले तरकारी मीन बेरे फ्रेश बंद नाटी सोप इन सांबार मूलंगी बेले टमोटो अट मैदा हिट मैदा हिट दोसा अोसा अयर हईब्रीड लोकल सोल यूज दोसा मसूरी ग्रैंड दिल्ली फॉर द चटनी हिर् दे मेक् शोर दे क्लीन इट फर्स्ट दिस is all the waste not just the top the crown of the chili but also the other waste that comes in almost all yaru ee tara clean maadsadilla ಒಂದು ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಮಾಡೋರು ಸಿಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಸಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಕೆಜಿಗೆ 30 ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು 30 ರೂಪಾಯಿ 30 ರೂಪಾಯಿ ನಮಗೆ 180 ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಮೆಣಸಿಕಾಯಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ 30 ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಇದು 210 ಇದು ವೇಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದು 240 ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಮೆಣಸಿಕಾಯಿ ಸೋ ವಾಟ್ ಇ ಸೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಬೈ ದ ಚಿಲ್ಲಿ ಅಟ್ 180 ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಟು ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ದ ಚಿಲ್ಲಿ ಐ ಪೇ 30 ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಇಟ್ देयर ಇಸ್ ಅ ಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೇಟ್ ಸೋ ದೇ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ 180 rupees cost me 240 rupees hotel start madam mom munche you en martide thoda mane nokkadidu nanu 28 ne hoyesane nanu start madidu 28 years irvaga nanu 64 years 64 years i think the kind of organization that mr uday kumar has done in his kitchen is quite incredible whether it is the space the areas that he has allocated for each activity beat the steaming of the idli beat the parcel the washing the grinding the store area the vegetable area the ro area i think there's a certain meticulousness in the approach nan satya helta idene sir nan sumar nodidene hotels ella nimma tara ni organize maridu ishtu jaga kottadu nan baala kami nodidene ha so ಕೆಲವರು ಒಳಗಡೆ ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗೋಕ್ಕೆ ಅನುಮಾನ ಪಡ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ಗಲೀಜು ಇತ್ತೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೈತೆ ಇವನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ನೋಡ್ತಾರಲ್ಲಪ್ಪ ಅಂತ ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ಯಾರನ್ನ ಹೋಟ್ಲು ನೋಡಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಯಾವ ಫುಲ್ಲು ತೋರಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ಭಾಳ ಸಮಾಧಾನ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಐ ತಿಂಕ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಕಿಚನ್ ವುಡ್ ರೈವಲ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನಲ್ ಕಿಚನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ
Look at the amount of base of that's going in. Is it two days sir? Uh, two days only. My God, look at the amount of base of He's got a sack of base of the curry leaf, and he's going to finish it in two days. Tells you of the, the volume that is generated by this place. So this is the boiled rice. Number one quality boiled. Where is it, sir? Bannur. Bannur. Mandya, Mandya. Mandya district. Malwali. Malwali, yeah. Ah. You know, it's fascinating to learn of the origin of ingredients. I've already learned that the half boiled rice here comes from Tamil Nadu. The full boiled rice comes from Mandya district. I've heard that the chilli comes from Gauri Bidnur. Gauri Bidnur. I really like the, the importance that he gives to provenance of the ingredient. Ah, this is the coconut area. Is it extra dinner, sir? Oh, one week, Bharatate. One week, Bharatate. Ah. Kobri. Dry coconut. Yes. Is it really used, Bharatera? Sambar ke use. Ah, there's some dry coconut that they've kept here. That goes into the sambar. This is na, inge clean mandir pe kinge. Ha. This is inge. Pay attention to detail. So he says, when we peel the outer husk, we also want to make sure that we get rid of all these fibers. So that when you are grinding the coconut, in that coconut flesh, none of this falls in. Because if that falls in, that finds its way into the chutney. It means that it's very good. 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 You know, Mr. Uday Kumar is about organization and the attention to detail. Two things that I've discovered about him. In the very first time I've met him. Too important. Too important. Customer is too important. Customer is too important. He says money is important, but beyond yeah. the money, it's the customer who's important. Kaya kave kailasan. Kaya kave kailasan. Extra idli parate onda ni. Hundred and fifty. Hundred and fifty idlis. And it's constantly running aliyar the. Yes. Kade ad open akta idhe. Ha, that is open. Ha. Ad close aga kya? Idhe ready apur. Ha. Aga adi kya? Yalla arunu busy 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 idli. So out here, no matter what time you come, it always is idli busy here, sir. Because he's got three of these giant steamers, each holds 150 idlis, and he's timed them sequentially. So as this idli batter goes in, that is already ready for service. When that is over, this would have finished steaming, and therefore you have more hot idlis. And I suppose this too will fit in somewhere in the middle of all that orchestration from the idli batter to the final tatte idli. One day, how much will it be? Sir, the holiday is all over. It's a holiday. It's a holiday. It's a holiday. It's a holiday. So, thousands of idlis every day? So, this is only the parcel here. So, everything is so wonderfully organized here. Tomorrow. For tomorrow? Yes. We are in today morning and he already has his tatte stacked ready for tomorrow. Is there a little bit of idli? Six inches, sir. Six inches. Six inches. All standard. And then this is a penne. And then it's salted butter. Salted butter. Is there hot water or cold water? Cold water. Steam is here. Yes. It's a little bit of idli. It's a little bit of idli. It's a little bit of idli. That's very interesting. So he tells me, idli doesn't cook from the bottom up. It cooks from the top down. Yeah, yeah. So there is water in that. That water generates steam. Steam, that, that steam, steam goes That steam goes up, gets trapped by the lid, and then that steam finds its way down, and that's how it cooks the idli. And therefore, they have this bucket of water on top to ensure this pressure on the lid, and none of that precious steam that's required to cook that tatte idli escapes. How much time is it? 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. You know, 15 minutes will close up. So he says that idli has just gone in. The idlis that you have here will get over in 15 minutes. In that time, that will be ready. And therefore, they will always serve busy, busy tatte idli here at Pavitra Hotel in Khyata Sandra. On the idli kodi, single idli, bendne utti ke, amele on the vade sa kodi. So, this is normally made of idli. So, how much idli is it? 30. 30 rupees. Bindi? 10 rupees. 10 rupees. Vade? 20. 20 rupees. Vade? 20 rupees. Well, I have my breakfast here. Of course, we have the sambar here. There's the chutney that we saw being prepared. If you take the idli parcel, you get a gatti chutney. This, of course, is a gali chutney. 
I have the vade, but I'm most eager to meet that tatte idli. I love that dollop of butter that's sitting on top of my idli. I think we'll give it a bit of a tour around the idli so that the butter melts with the steam of that idli. Oh my goodness, this is an idli that's crumbling, that's tearing away under its own weight. It's as soft as that. This is an idli that's soft, fluffy. There's a slightly pasty characteristic to it because the rice here is a rice that is ground and finds its way into the idli. It's not the typical rice tari or the akki rava that goes into most idlis. Out here, a combination of the boiled rice, the half-boiled rice and also the uddin abele go into the making of this idli. In the 60 is to 40 ratio, 60 towards the rice and 40 towards the uddin abele. Mm. And therefore, this is an idli that also sticks to your fingers. There's also a slight tart edge that I can taste in that idli. What I want to do next though, ladle plenty of bende onto that idli. Like they say, butter makes everything better. Mm. And that's when things take a delicious turn. The butter has penetrated deep into the idli. Mm. And also what the butter does, it cuts a bit of the tartness. You're tasting the lush fervor of the butter and the butter also helps in cutting a bit of the tartness of the idli. Let's introduce that idli to that chutney next. I want to soak my idli in that chutney. Mm. Oh, I can taste the chilli spice. That Gauri Pindur chilli spice. It's definitely a chilli that gets you at the tip of your tongue and then you're also tasting the flavour of some curry leaf in there. Also some mint. When you come here, brace yourself for some noise and commotion. There's a family in the next table, there's a little kid shrieking away but that's the experience of a place like this. This isn't a place where you can come and savour your idli in some peace and quiet. This is a place where you come, savour your idli quickly and leave to resume your journey. Mm. Well, that chutney is quite tasty. That's an urukadle chutney but there's plenty of coconut that I can taste in that chutney. Certainly a place where they don't stinge on the coconut. And the tartness in that idli also serves to tone down some of that chilli heat. So typically when you're tasting the Urugatle chutney, you're not tasting so much coconut. But out here I can definitely taste plenty of coconut in that. Of course the seasoning of the saswe, the mustard seeds, there's some curry leaf that I can taste in there as well. But the fervor of that Gauri Pindur Mensin Kai is certainly something that sticks to the tip of your tongue. And I think that's where just that plain idli with that bende will provide some relief. Let's get next to that sambar. Plenty of onions there, tomatoes as well. Mm. You can taste the flavor of the bele, the togri bele in that sambar. You can taste the tartness of the tomato. This isn't a sambar that leaves you with a residual sweetness. This is a sambar that conveys the flavours of the togri bele of the lentils and a bit of the sourness, the sweet acidity that you get from the tomato. Mm. There's also some kai, some coconut that's gone into it. I think I lost some of my idli to that sambar there. We'll go back and retrieve it. Mm. Once that idli takes on that sambar, it quite simply dissolves in a delicious, albeit slightly spicy pool in your mouth. Mm. And sambar tinta tinta, you can now feel the heat of the mensin kai. I don't know what chilli they use in this. Perhaps the Biyadgi Mensin Kai to a certain extent because the colour of the sambar is quite deep. But as you taste spoonfuls of the sambar, you can now detect the presence of that chilli warmth on your throat. I think it's time to go back to that chutney. So this is also an idli that has some weight. There are some idlis that disappear into a poof the moment you place in your mouth. This is an idli that certainly makes its presence felt in its heft. And then, it's also the sort of idli that will fill you up. Sambar. 
Fantastic. I'm almost coming to the end of the idli and I can already feel the satisfying heft of that idli. There's plenty of the kai in that chutney. Mm. Go for some more of that bendne. That bendne idli. That chili certainly makes its presence felt in that chutney. You can also detect the warmth, the warmth of the ginger that goes into this Urugadle chutney as well. It's called a Urugadle chutney, but to be honest, I'm detecting more of the kai, more of the coconut in this chutney than that Urugadle. Which in my books is a good thing. Even as I bite on that idli, I can taste the crunch, that moist, sweet crunch of the coconut in the chutney, which acts as a nice counterbalance to the spicy heat of the gauri bitnur chili. There's also some hunsin kai, some tamarind that goes into it, but it's only in the quantity that balances between the spice of the chili and the sweetness that perhaps comes from the coconut. If you're looking for a hint of tartness, that you will find in that tatte idli. Idli done, let's turn our attention to the vade, the uddina vade. Of course, the vade has cooled down a bit while I was having a bit of a love affair with that idli. But that vade still has its crunchy fervor intact. I can hear a whisper of a crunch as I break that vade. The vade is quite simple in its flavors, but what's endearing is that crunch, that soft crunch, thanks to the lacy exoskeleton of that vade. From the first bite to the last. As for the flavors, they're quite muted, and I think that's where perhaps the chutney, or in this case the sambar, will help. Mm, I forgot to taste the idli with the palya. Mmm, that's a flavorful palya. The vade to me was remarkable on the crunch, but on the taste, I think it's very muted just by itself. Definitely a vade where you need to enlist the companionship of the sambar or the chutney to enliven its flavors. I've never tasted a vade with some palya, but like they say, there's always the first time. I think there's some lime that's drizzled over that palya. Plenty of freshness from the coriander, the curry leaf, some grated carrots too, to provide for a bit of a textural contrast to the moist onions or the iruli. That's a tasty palya. Let's get back to the vade and this time the vade with the chutney. I love the coconut richness of that chutney. That chutney is so thick that it's quite literally tugging at everything that you place in it. Half of this vade bite is now drowned in that chutney. Mm. That chutney is quite special. I will make it Dose? Yeah. When Sumanth here insists that I should also try the dosa, that's popular with Ashto. Dhawan ke rongli nenge and the erat dosa thin leke there. Dhawan ke rongli nenge dosa, that's the different one, here's the different one. Sorry, on dosa taste madana. Well, that's the thing with food, you set out with something in mind, but along the way, you meet someone who has interesting things to say about the dosa in this instance, and then you're quite tempted. And next to the idli, I also saw quite a few doses on people's plates here. So why not? Mm. That sambar chutney and that idli is what appealed to me the most on this idli vade plate here at Pavitra Idli Hotel. Butter mini masal dosa. Is this dosa? 30 rupees. 30 rupees. This dosa certainly seems to have plenty of butter as one can decipher from that crisp crackle. You can almost hear this dosa speak. Ah, This is a dosa that you don't tear into. This is a dosa that you crush into because the dosa is crumbling with all that bende that it's been roasted with. Mm. Whenever you're traveling and you are somewhere and if you get a suggestion, if possible, take that suggestion. Because who knows, you may taste something interesting, you may taste something truly delicious, scrumptious like this mini butter masal dosa. You know, this is a dosa where the crisp crackle of that bende dosa almost evaporates into nothing. I can see the camera through the dosa, definitely the light as well. 
and when you place it in your mouth after the initial crackle that dosa quite literally gives in to the moistness of your mouth there's a phrase in hindi and i don't know what that would translate to in kannada but the phrase in hindi says dhoonte reh jaoge when you place that thin dosa in your mouth all that you register is the initial buttery crackle of that dosa and after that the moistness of your mouth your saliva completely takes over and washes the dosa away all that the dosa leaves behind is the after taste of the butter of the bengne the palya has a bit of a tang so i think that drizzle some lemon on it that makes it a nice contrast against the buttery notes of the dosa mm So when you come here to Pavitra, my suggestion is have the idli for sure, and also try and stretch your stomach to savor this mini butter masal dosa. Delicious. And this is a dosa that you can enjoy just by itself. Bendne bendne de kaiyali. The bendne from this bendne dosa, and also the bendne from that idli. Let's now taste the dosa with some chutney. So this is the gatti chutney, the same chutney that we tasted before, but in a gatti form. What's interesting here in the chutney, in the telu form, I could taste more the kai, but in this gatti chutney form, I can taste the texture of the urugatle as well, the roasted gram. And I have a theory for that because when you add water to this chutney. that urugatle dissolves into that water and therefore you don't taste it so much but the fresh coconut in that watery in the liquid chutney definitely holds its own and that's why you taste more the texture of that but out here in the gatti form the urugatle is not being watered down and therefore it deserts its flavor so in this chutney in the gatti form of this chutney i can taste more the flavor of the roasted gram or the urugatle and that also makes for a great partnership with the butter masala dosa here at Pavitra Idli Hotel in Kyat Sandra. The one thing I like practicing when I'm tasting food is mindfulness. Is being open to what the food has to tell me. I've tasted many dosas. I've tasted many urugatle chutneys, both in the liquid form and the gutty form. But that distinction of tasting the urugatle in the gutty form, as opposed to not tasting it so much in that liquid form, in the runny form, is something that I discovered just now. And I think that's the thing that's interesting about food. Always keep your eyes, ears, and palates open. You will savor your food experiences that much more. Mm. I think the satisfaction that you get from some busy, busy filter copy. or coffee at the end of an idli vade dosa breakfast is quite something the food is special the sort that compels you to make a pit stop here when you're on the road in this part of the world but i think what's also most interesting is the manner in which they have organized the kitchen here at pavitra hotel the way the kitchen is laid out neatly into different areas with large spaces for each and every activity the emphasis on hygiene the fact that when he gets that bag of chilies he cleans it meticulously removes the corns removes all foreign matters before grinding the coconut he makes sure that the coconut is shaved of all fibers lest that fiber falls into the chutney and come into the mouth of a customer i think mr uday kumar's attention to detail and meticulousness is quite astonishing and that's definitely something that you don't encounter much when you're on the highways in this part of the world so when you find yourself on nh48 heading in the direction of hubli dharwad belgaum or perhaps maharashtra beyond that make sure you make a stop at pavitra idli hotel here in khyat sandra that tatte idli and also that mini butter masala dosa is definitely something that you should taste and also perhaps worth a 65 km joy ride from bengaluru just to taste the fare here i hope you've enjoyed this episode of gourmet on the road until the next time take care stay safe stay strong and happy drinking
If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating.